are just as good as people as they are as ball players, and I know that makes me proud to be a part of this organization, and I know it makes you proud to be fans of Braves country. So let's uh, let's welcome them out one by one and give them a proper round of applause, and we will start with the first baseman, Matt Olson. Sticking on the infield, going to second base, Ozzy Albies. <laughs> Around the horn to third base, Austin Riley. And last but not least, the catcher, Sean Murphy. <laughs> All right, well, how this is going to work for about 25 to 30 minutes, I'm just going to chat with these guys. We're going to have some fun discussions, some discussion about their offseason, what they're looking forward to. And then for the final 10 or 15 minutes, we're going to turn the microphone over to some of you and let you ask some questions of your favorite Braves players. So, guys, appreciate your time. Always appreciate you being a part of Braves Fest. Um, just get everybody off, up, up to speed. I know offseason is different and that they don't get to see you every day. So what goes on? What have the last couple months been like? And, Matt, we'll start with you. Uh, you know, take the offseason to get some downtime, catch up with some family and friends. Um, I moved, got a new house, uh, a little closer to the field, make the drive easier, and then did some traveling. But, um, you know, mainly just working out, obviously getting going now with baseball stuff and, and catching up on, on some time with family. Ozzy, any good trips this offseason? Yeah, I went back to Curacao, and I was fishing for like a whole month. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to go have fun, you know, some downtime from baseball, but catch up with family, and I'm back here for a great season again. Well, did you catch anything good? Yeah, I catch a lot of snappers, some uh, wagyu and tuna. Wow. Do you have some buddies that you go out with? I went with uh, Kenley Jansen, for former oh, Braves. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys then, you catch a fish, you eat it, or you catch and yeah, release? Yeah, so we catch the fish, clean it up, and eat it. Sorry, guys. Hopefully there's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's no vegans here. Apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> What about you? Go back to Mississippi for a little bit, Austin? Yeah, I go back to Mississippi. Uh, you know, kind of same with, with these guys. Enjoy, you know, downtime with family uh, and friends. Do a lot of hunting. Um, and then, you know, obviously right now getting getting ramped up for, for baseball and workouts. Uh, did go play Pebble Beach. Uh, any golfers out there, which was phenomenal. So, um, yeah, it's ready, ready to roll now. What'd you shoot? I went, we played Spanish Bay, Spyglass, Pebble. I went 80, 80, 79. Wow. Right. Not bad. See, it's just, it's just not fair. Like, I couldn't even make my high school basketball team. And these guys, they go out on the golf course. They're not professional golfers, and they shoot sub-80 on courses like that. It's just, it's not fair. Um, who'd you golf with, by the way? Um, I took my dad, brother, and father-in-law. Nice. And KP, Kevin Pillar, went out there with us, so uh, hopefully he's back. Very cool. <laughs> All right, Mr. Murphy, what about you? How was your off season? It was good. Um, went back to Nashville, uh, laid low for a while. We travel so much during the season. My wife and I just like to stop and catch our breaths for a minute. Uh, and we saw family over Christmas, and then after that, you just back to baseball and working out. But Nashville, you're originally from Ohio, right? Yeah, I was born in New York, raised in Ohio, and then we moved to Nashville. Uh, Kind of because Ohio was getting a little boring. And I mean, <laughs> figured Nashville was fun. I'm from Indiana, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, look, last season was amazing. And then everybody knows postseason did not end as we wanted. I know that's, that's the same for you guys. But if you have to look back to last year and pick one special memory, it can be a game, it can be a moment. I want each of you to go through and share with these fans something that really sticks out to you from, from last year, and you can go in any order. I, I think for me, 
you know, the day you win the division is always going to be the one that sticks out the most. Um, you know, 162 games, anything can happen during it. Um, to be able to, you know, come together collectively for so long and then, um, you know, win that last game and, and go into the clubhouse and, and pop some champagne and, and you know, kind of take that moment to, to realize all the hard work you put in and enjoy it with the guys is, is always the best for me. Like Matt said, you know, winning the division, you know, you play hard every single day, you lose, you win, but end of the day, we, we are the division champions again, and that's all what we play for. That starts, that's the start for going to the World Series. So to me, that's a special moment, and we all got to enjoy it together. Those are great answers, but you two can't say that same thing. We got to, <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll go different. I'm, I'm saying you play hard yeah. for, you know, those type of moments. You know, you, I mean, Matt can hit a walk off home, or Riley can. We all can do that, but to win it together is what we play for. Uh, I'm going to go with the home opener. Uh, my first year as a Brave, um, and being in front of the fans the first time was, was awesome. And then, you know, we won it on a walk off. Um, so that was, a, that was a cool moment for me. That was a fun night. Um, you know, I think just all the, the, the achievements that, you know, individually from Olsen, the homers, to what Ronnie did last year, MVP, to stolen bases, um, you know, just being a part of all that, to tying, I think, the home run record, single season home run record. I think that, you know, to me, that's pretty special. Um, you know, the guys that come in every day and work, work their butts off and, and uh, put in the time uh, just to, to be a part of something like that that doesn't happen very often was, was uh, the highlight for, for me. Yeah, I mean, you guys all had such amazing years, as I mentioned, all all stars. Matt, for you, as Austin alluded to, you, you set the franchise record not only for homers, for runs driven in. And I know you're a humble guy, but have you had a chance to reflect on that and kind of what you accomplished? <laughs> Put me on the spot. Uh, yeah, you know, you take every off season and you you know look back on the year before. Um, it's you know, you kind of put your head down and, and just keep playing during a season. But when it gets over, um, like I said, you reflect. So it was cool. You know, like all I was saying last year, just to, you know, be up with those names. Um, you know, I grew up Andrew Jones fan. So, uh, you know, his support throughout that whole thing of, of kind of rooting me on to, to beat his number was really cool. And um, it's, a, it's a cool list to be a part of. Ozzy, you had a, a career year, your numbers as well. Um, it's really for anybody, but I, I'm curious. Look, I know team goals are number one, but do you go into the off season or into the regular season setting personal goals for numbers that you want to hit? No, I play, you know, we play more for the team, you know. End of the day, you hit a home or cool, everything, but you want to win games. All we care about is the ring. We, we care for championships. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, you know, it's cool. Everybody hit their numbers, and, you know, you want to get 30 homers, 100 RBI. We all want, want that. But to me, end of the day, winning the whole thing is the most import important part. So, Austin, give us the number one thing that you've been focused on in the off season. Um, you know, obviously hitting. Um, you know, I wasn't, you know, from a personal standpoint, you know, runs driven in. You know, that kind of was a, a weak spot for me personally. Um, I felt I, I, I left a lot out there. Um, so just, you know, work and continue on trying to, um, you know, game plan a little bit better for pitchers and, and just, you know, making sure that, you know, my swing is, is in, in the right spot on, you know, every given day, working a lot, you know, on my lower half this year just to be in a better, you know, spot, um, you know, for, for off, off speed pitches. Felt like I got pitched a little bit different than what I'm, you know, been used to last year, just, you know, from, you know, a reliever standpoint. Um, so just trying to dissect that and, uh, you know, have a, have a better game plan this year. Uh, Sean, you know, for you now coming into your second season, but a lot of people may not know, your baseball path's different than a lot of people because you, you walked on at Wright State in college, right? I mean, so to think about in less than a decade, you go from walking on at Wright State to being one of the best catchers on the planet and being an all-star. I mean, <laughs> do you ever stop and just think about the journey and the ride that you've been on? Uh, yeah, it's, it's different than a lot of guys. Um, you know, these two guys are drafted out of high school. Um, I just wasn't, like, big enough at the time. Uh, I was just small. Um, so I wasn't recruited at all to go to college. Uh, I went locally to Wright State, and, you know, they said, come walk on and try win a spot. And, uh, you know, I got to college. I grew. I got a little stronger, uh, worked really hard. And, um, you know, some things fell my way, and I got noticed and drafted.
I've got a really good workout plan if you need to beef up, by the way. I, uh, <laughs> you. I've been, been working really hard on it this off season, so just hit me up on uh, Instagram if you need some tips, okay? Uh, by the way, being from Indiana, when uh, I went to Butler, and when I was there, Butler and Wright State were rivals, and we used to say, Wright State, wrong university. Yeah, they still, they still say that. Oh, they do, okay. <laughs> Just checking, okay. Uh, let's have some fun. Let's, uh, let's get you guys in any order. What's your favorite road trip in Major League Baseball? I'll go, I think Toronto is probably my favorite. Uh, it's a really cool city. Um, when they open up the roof and you, know, you see the, the needle there, um, it's cool. They got good fans. Um, you know, going international is always just kind of a, a different feel, but um, you know, good energy at the stadium, and then a really cool city outside of it. Anybody else? Uh, New York. Um, I got all family out there, and it's cool, and they all get to come out. Uh, so we look forward to that trip. Uh, everybody goes out in the city, and, you know, we enjoy the city. And beat up on the Mets. Beat up on the Mets. Yeah, it's <laughs> always a good thing. Yeah. I'm San Diego. Uh, you know, being from the East Coast, uh, Mississippi going out there is a little different, but great food, uh, good city, good ballpark. You know, they always, you know, a lot of fans there, so it's it's fun for me. Yeah, you and Ron Burgundy. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Ozzy, what do you got? I gotta say Miami. You know, it feels feels like where I'm from, from Curacao, and it's fun. But the best, I think, is Chicago when it's not raining. Yeah. <laughs> I, by the way, I was just looking at our schedule. That first road trip at Philly, then at Chicago end of March and early April, that's gonna be a little brutal. Um, but that's okay, baseball's near and that's gonna be good. And you get to start at Northport, which is nice and sunny. Um, all right, who's the biggest prankster on the team, guys? <laughs> I was gonna guess Orlando, but I don't, I don't is it Ozzy, who is it, come on. He's speechless, if that says anything. Yeah. It's, it's those two together. Uh, you see all the stuff they do on the field that is them 24-7 in the clubhouse. Yeah, I got to admit it. I, I, do <laughs> I do talk a lot of crap, but he's, hand he's holding my hands lately in the end of the season. Is there a prank you're proud of that you'd like to share with everybody? There is a lot, but... There's a lot I can't say <laughs> out loud. I can't. I can't. What about one you can say? Uh, let me think. I know you've done some good stuff in that clubhouse. Yeah, we, I mean, in general, we have fun. We talk a lot of trash, of course. You know, you got to make it fun. It's a long season. We got to all stick together. And if I do something wrong, these guys are eating me up alive. I know that. So when they do something wrong, I let them know also. <laughs> I got one for him. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So I think it was Washington. We were there, and I come back, and I, I come back from from BP, and I got I think, 15 bottles of mouthwash in my in my locker, and I look over, and him and RC are just like dying out laughing. So apparently from then on, it's like every time we went on a road trip, it's like I either put 15 bottles of mouthwash in his, or 15, you know, I got mouthwash in mine. Um, don't know why. Maybe, I, maybe my breath stank one, one morning or something, but uh, that, that was pretty good. It's, a, it's, Orlando, it's an Orlando thing. Every time we eat, if he's like, if you don't rinse your mouth with mouthwash, your mouth stinks. So we saw Austin eating, and he, did, he went straight out to do wash drills. We were packing his whole locker with it <laughs> on purpose. Um, you and Orlando seem to just be inseparable I mean is that is it always been like that or because you guys butt heads too yeah we 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 have been like that since I think 2015 when I met him in the minors and we played the futures game together also was there also you were there right yes he was there in Cincinnati and since then we are in the, we were in the locker together and we clicked and it has always been like that till today all right, we got to get Sean Murphy back involved. You've only been eating bread and water for a month, and now you're breaking out of that, and you can have whatever meal you want. What's the first meal that you're having? A burger. Uh, that's <laughs> not real fun, but uh, probably just a burger, mountain of fries, 
at a milkshake. But from where? Uh, Somewhere in Ohio? I don't know, I feel like Steak and Shake's coming to mind. I <laughs> ate that when I was growing up a lot. How about the varsity? Like a dog, yeah. I, I need the varsity, yeah. <laughs> Um, steak and Shake, that's, that's a Midwest spot. I grew up on that. Is those shoestring fries? Yeah. Those, yeah. Will, those, those will get you. Um, what's that? Shake Shack. Shake Shack, also a good option. Um, before we get to some questions from the fans, let's get a couple more silly ones. Who's the, who's the best and worst dresser on the Atlanta Braves? <laughs> this could be the same answer. Uh, Azuna thinks he's the best dresser, but... <laughs> He might be the worst. <laughs> no, we have fun. I, I like to talk some trash to Zuna, and he's always wearing some, some different uh, designer type stuff. So he's, he's going out and he's, he's spending a lot on it. If you see his sunglasses today, I've been wearing them out about it. <laughs> Anybody else have any thoughts? I think, yeah, I think um, Michael Harris, he dressed up very nice. He does, but the worst, I got to go with Azuna. Sorry if he sees this. <laughs> Marcel, every time he would come on the team bus, he would wear the hat backwards that said goat. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's got the designer stuff on, and we had Eddie Rosario with his bucket hats. But AJ and then Michael Harris, they like those hats. Those, those I, don't, I don't know. Sometimes they pull it off. Sometimes it's a little questionable. You guys ever go with any of those cowboy-style hats? I think it, they are designs for those too. That's what I can say. They always rock it. They look good. Yeah. And they're custom made. You're not just buying those at the corner yeah, they're store. They're all custom. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's open it up for some questions from you guys before we get back to a look ahead to next season. Um, am I just supposed to? OK, OK. Um, let's go right over here in the white Braves jersey. Yep. Well, that's good too. No, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just playing Russian roulette, so. Hey, what's up, guys? I mean, first of all, I want to say thank you for everything you guys do every single year. I've been a fan since 2017, so I've seen all you guys grow as players. Um, my question, though, is I wanted to ask, what was y'all's reaction? And, Ozzy, I know what your reaction is probably going to be, but to everybody else, what was the reaction when Ozzy hit that walk-off homer against the Mets to sweep them? Yeah, that was, that was a really cool game. Um, Remember high scoring game, right? And just like a back and forth all game, um, Ozzy got a little cutter up and in and uh, put it in the chop house. Uh, you know, it's like we're talking about the cool moments. Um, you know, watching watching your guys go out and do special stuff is is always the most fun. I mean, I I can say it was the best. It was probably the best swing I put on a baseball in my entire career. It was the hardest ball I hit in my career. Um, but for me, it was big that I was the last guy that didn't have to hit that game. So <laughs> I remember that. And I was like, hey, Ozzy, you got to do something here. You can't go home like this. <laughs> and I hit that homer. So it was, it was fun. All right. There's a little girl over here that says, a shirt that says, my heart belongs to Riley. So we got to get, <laughs> got to get her a microphone. This is for Austin Riley. <laughs> If you weren't a baseball player, what profession would you choose? Ooh, love the shirt, by the way. Um, probably a farmer, not gonna lie. Being from Mississippi, uh, in the summers, I'd, grow up, I'd go to see my grandparents, and I'd drive a tractor um, during the summer. So I, I have a feeling that's probably where I, I would be. Did you drive a tractor at all this off season when you were back there? A little bit. Okay, yeah, good. So, Stick you know, to your roots. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. All right, who's next here? Let's go right here in the Braves hat here, third row. How different is your routine going to be without Wash here? I'll, I'll answer it. Um, you know, obviously going to miss Wash. He was great. You know, just, you know, what he meant to us and what he did for us was, you know, unmatched. But, you know, Matt uh, coming in, you know, he, he was probably the closest to – you know, being able to do Wash's drills could could hit the ball really well, uh, the fungo and stuff. So we got a really good core group of guys that kind of have a good routine. So I feel like it's just going to kind of roll over. Um, you know, that's kind of my vision of what what I see happening. And and 
you know, we've all been through it a lot, so we kind of know what we need to do. And, and you know, I don't, I don't see us, uh, you know, missing a beat at all. Uh, right over here. Hi. Um, my, favorite, my favorite play of the season was when Harris caught that fly ball, threw it to Riley, and Riley um, threw it to Olsen at first base. It was, we were screaming. I can't remember what game it was, but it was late in the season. What do you, I mean, did, did you guys feel as pumped about that as the fans were? Absolutely. I think, I think it's probably the most emotion I've ever showed on a baseball field. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that was during the playoffs, and um, that's what it's all about. You know, we're, we're grinding, trying to win a World Series. Um, you know, it was, it was coming down towards the end. They had a guy on base. I believe we were up one, and uh, Cassianos put a good swing on one. Mike went up, made the play, and we were able to double him off at first. So uh, just pure emotion. Obviously, the, the crowd was super into it. Um, you know, Riley making a, a great heads-up play, backing up and, and throwing a dart to me at first. Um, it was uh, – that's, that's what you play for. All right. This is a lot of pressure, by the way. I get to choose, and so many people have their hands up. I'm told to go to this side. All right, let's go in the back, standing up there with the hat on. So um, would you say that the break between the, uh, the regular season and the postseason, like the break between, do you think that helps or hurts you all? Hurts. <laughs> Why? I think it's we coming from the season. You play in the higher volume of game, and then you have like a whole week of vacation. You know, it's I mean it's not vacation, but your intensity, your your game volume, it's not the same as the team coming in hot. And I think it slows down the way we play. From my perspective. Anybody else? Do you did you feel that is that something that maybe baseball should look at? You know, I, I think it's it's the way it's set up now. Um, we're going to go and try to win the division every year. And so if, if we put ourselves in that spot, um, it is what it is. Uh, I do think it's different. You know, that's longer than the All-Star break. Um, so like Ozzy said, we're just kind of not accustomed to having, you know, the break from, from game speed like that. But, um, you know, we don't, we don't write the schedules. And um, we're going to go try to win as many games as we can during the year. So if we're in that spot again, um, try to you know find a way to, to fine tune it a little bit this upcoming year. All right, a few more here. Uh, let's go right here in the middle. There's four little guys with their hands up. I don't know who gets the question, but. Birthday. All right, birthday boy, how old? How old are you today? Um, nine. Happy birthday. What's your question, bud? What is it like being in the MLB? <laughs> uh, it's very cool. <laughs> I mean, it's something I'm sure all of us on the stage dreamed about as kids. And, uh, you know, through a lot of work and some luck and all of it, um, we get to do what we like to do as a job. Happy birthday. Enjoy it. No better place to be. Um, all right. I haven't looked all the way over here. So over here in the red sweatshirt with a hat, little man. What happens when Ozzy's helmet falls off? <laughs> the world sees a great head of hair. He thinks it makes him look faster, so he takes it off himself. <laughs> hey, when it, fell, when it falls off my head, that means I'm going fast. I think. I think. Because we had a race during the season with the most triples, and every time Holson is a triple, he looks at the dog like, that's four. That's three. That's five. So it was, it was fun. But um, yeah, when it comes off, that means at least I think I'm going fast. But there's also some times where you kind of nudge it off. Yeah, sometimes it's like it feels like it wants to come off, and I'm like, I had enough of you. Yeah. I'm it off. By the way, you, uh, speaking of your triples, you only had one in your career going into last year. You had three. What, what'd you do? <laughs> I mean, which, who'd you train with in the off season? What got into you? Ozzy. <laughs> Did you teach him your speed? I think it's the race you wanted to do with Ozuna before the game. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is the current Ironman, meaning he's had more consecutive starts than anybody in baseball. You're over 450.
and which is pretty incredible and you only need to start every game until the middle of the 2036 season to catch Cal Ripken so good luck on that I don't think I'm catching that one <laughs> it is pretty incredible though um, all right let's get it let's get a few more questions here in the middle uh, right up here in front little girl right there yep okay uh, so I do better talking from the back so just Oh, wait. I can't get it. Okay. Mom trained her young. <laughs> Who's funnier, um, Orlando or Ozzy? I can't answer that. I'll let them answer. Uh, I'm going to go with Ozzy. Uh, no, I, I, Orlando speaks a lot more Spanish, and that's not my strength, so <laughs> I'll have to go with Ozzy. Do you guys have any thoughts? Yeah, I was going to say, any joke that R.C. is putting out, Ozzy's normally translating it for us, so he's probably not giving us the full joke, so he sounds funnier. I'm not giving Ozzy credit. I'm going to Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> he does not deserve it. <laughs> All right, two more questions, and then I'm going to wrap it up with the guys here. All right, let's go over there in the middle with your hand up. Glasses, white Braves jersey. We heard what everyone's favorite ballpark is to play in, but what's your least favorite ballpark to play in? Chicago for me. If you look at my numbers, not very good. <laughs> so, Wrigley. Yeah, not it. Okay. I say San Fran. I always feel like it's freezing when I play there. <laughs> I was I was probably gonna go San Fran as well. We'll go to San no, you can't say Oakland. Got a, got some, you're tugging at some heartstrings up here. A couple, couple former A's. Uh, I want to say, wow, it's, to me it's tough. I haven't been to all the stadiums yet. Um, we're going to White Sox early. I think that's my last one. But so far, I got to say, yeah, I got to say for San Frank, it's too cold for me. I come from where it's 90 degrees. <laughs> and you can fish in the off season. Exactly, yeah. but yeah. baseball is baseball, mental. Put your mental strength there. Just go play, I guess. Yeah. All right, final question. Uh, let's go right down here in the blue Braves hat. Uh, every year when I get excited for the beginning of the season, I always look to see if it's going to be a home opener, and it never seems like it is. So I'm just curious why you guys open away all the time, or it seems that way. Sean makes the schedule, so <laughs> yeah, blame, yeah, Sean. blame him. I'm sorry. I just wanted to go to <laughs> Philly and Chicago in April. <laughs> no, there. I mean, I can answer it. It is, it is a master formula that they do. It, there's no rhyme or reason to why you're home or away. I actually got to see the Excel doc that the guy creates that does the major league schedule and all the variables that they have to hit for this team is on ESPN this night, this team's on Fox, this team can't go from East Coast to West Coast. There's so many variables that a lot of teams think that they are slighted against, but I truly think it's just it's just luck of the draw. And unfortunately, a lot of the times, Braves have been on the road to start the season, so. Yeah. Not that you ask me, I just, so. <laughs> Um, okay, w they do need to go, so we have to wrap this up. But before they do, we kind of took a look back. We talked about last year, guys. Let's give these fans something that you are really looking forward to. I, I know you're looking forward to the season and winning and all that, but there's anything in particular as you head down to Northport that you're really looking forward to in 2024? I mean, we all going to go do down there to get ready, you know, be the best we can be for opening series in, in Philly. But... Um, like you said, I don't want to say it, but we're going to look forward to winning it all again. And that's the main goal. That's the main goal. Yeah, what Oz said, we're, we're trying to get a ring. Um, you know, I, I love the, the Fan Fest time of year because it's when you start getting, you know, really turned back up for the season. And it's, it's fun being back around the guys. And um, you get down the spring, and then you start getting back into the grind of it. Um, might not seem like it's it's the most fun waking up at six and and you know going to the field and spend the whole day there, but it, it really is. And um, you know this is this is what we love to do, and we're excited for this year. Yeah, I like hanging out with the guys. Um, looking forward to meeting everybody. Um, you know, all the new guys coming in, uh, the new pitchers we get to work with. 
and then just going out and winning a bunch of games. Uh, that's what makes the season fun. Uh, you know, when you're winning and you're on good teams, and this is a good team, um, you know, it makes the season fly by. Yeah, I mean, like Murph said, we have a really good team again this year um, and expect to do big things. And what Alex has done this all season and bringing in, you know, some other key guys that are only going to make us stronger. So, you know, I expect to expect to make another run at it. And, um, you know, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see all you guys out there uh, cheering us on and, um, you know, looking forward to it. Matt Olson, Ozzie Albies, Austin Riley, Sean Murphy. How about a hand? All right, guys, thank you very much. There'll be another panel here in a little bit. And disperse. Enjoy the day. Go Braves.